Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Today we are going to be reacting to a video which has popped up and this was Calligraph Jones on stage having a message for the, his Sierra Leonean fan base. Let's watch it together. I think it's only right that we say, cancel the beef, please, man. Cancel Let's cancel the beef, the beef man. Cancel the beef, cancel the beef. Cancel the beef. I fucking record this shit. Carl De Niro, next time you should bring Sakodi out here, man. It's only right, man. Because you dissed me. You actually put out two songs to this Calligraph Jones, but because I love you, you are my nigga, no homo. I had to pull up for the fans and for you, so you know what it is. Check this out. This song I want to perform for you guys, Love of Hip Hop. I think it's only right that we say, cancel the beef. Okay. Hi, Ambassador. Hello, people. It's your boy Ambassador. Ambassador again doing his thing. Okay. So, Calligraph Joe said, cancel the beef. You know, my favorite part, right, is when he was talking. Somebody in the audience was like, nah, hip hop, nah, hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's how I was smiling too, because like, bros, don't think it's serious, serious. because it's, it's, um, how can I put it, it's awkward, because hard things were said during that beef, and if you say this guy can put out two diss songs against me, mm. and, and also, I, I think it's a valid point he's raising, like, mm. if I could let it go, you can as well let it go, because, mm. okay, uh, you took shots at me, Sakuji did something to you and had your grievance and you took shots at him. Mm. But it, it, it's not like um, Carl De Niro came to Kenya. Mm. On the contrary, Calligraph came to, 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 to Sierra Leone. So that's why he's saying if I could let it go, you can as well let it go and then also stretch out a, a handshake mm. to, to, mm, to Sakuji. And then, okay, also bring Sakuji to this stage. And I, I, I like that. Remember, like, when they had the whole beat, Mexico, Tex King beat, and the end of the day, they said they were going to do a collab with it. We still have not seen Mexico, Tex King B. You owe us a track. We are waiting. waiting. I'll keep reminding you guys. Mm. Um, so, when it's all said and done, those guys, they, they made peace, and then they, they, they promised they collab. I, I think at the end of the day, when we get all of these fans excited and elated on the same platform, looking forward to, to this uh, music, and now, just to conclude it, or the icing on the cake is making peace and a collab. The whole reality show is good, but we, we know it's not, it's not like real war, real war. So yeah, I always tell people like, the only one I took for real war, real war was Nas versus Jay-Z. Once they squash that beef and made peace, and I'm seeing them now enjoying their lives, all of them are getting money together. I just realized, no, we, we, are, we are engaged in it while it lasts, but it's not that serious. So mm. I think with, uh, with, with that's what Kaliga just is just trying to say. Brian, right, message of like, <clears throat> the beef is a short term strategy, but long term strategy is collaborations. I don't think beef can last that long. I don't think beef is a long term strategy. Mm -hmm. So once you have done all that and got the buzz, long term is now to collaborate and then try to build things and make it bigger and greater. So I think that's just the message he's trying to put. It's kind of awkward because, okay, I've just made peace with Sakodi with um, Carl De Nero. He's reminding my man, he took two heavy shots at me. But here I am shaking hands with you in front of your fan base. And that's why the fan is shouting, Nahi. Nahi. <laughs> and then let's just move on the direction of peace. Let's, let's, let's go. But he was not trying to say, like, I'm still mad or have any grudge. You're just saying, if I can let it go, guys, let's all let it go and let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I like it. I, I like the fact that um, Calligraph Jones is taking the position of the big up man. And um, I also like the fact that um, Carl Dino was able to extend a hand to invite him to Sierra Leone or was 
welcomed him to Sierra Leone. So I, I really don't yeah, know. Yeah, but how I think maybe it's um, Natasha Natasha Beckley, Beckley, yeah. Him, but yeah. now, yeah, Carl Cal- Nero has a bigger name. Yeah, also. embraced him in Sierra Leone. So I, I think, I think it, it's, it's, it's good because. Sierra Leoneans are very loyal. Like Cardinal has a huge fan base in Sierra Leone, and they are very loyal to him. And I feel if he had the kind of attitude of "You're not welcome in our country. We don't need you here," his fans might have done something. His fans might have acted yeah, on we, that. We saw the yes. tension when Lirica Joe came to Sierra Leone, and things were not very. Yeah, it was mm. it was tense. Yes, yes. So the fact that he embraced him, his fans knew, okay, we are embracing this person now. So I think that was a really big move. And like you said, I, I totally agree with Calligraph Jones. Like, yeah, you took shots at me, I've let you go. Sakodi did something to you, you let it go and move on. And yeah, let's see how it goes. But at the end of the day, fans will always find beef entertaining, you know? Fans will always find beef entertaining. Like that guy in the audience was crying out, like it's hip hop. That like it makes hip hop engaging. It makes it entertaining. So <laughs> So yeah, so I I don't know if fans would wholeheartedly want the whole beef to stop because there's some degree of entertainment that comes from it. But yeah, I think in the grand scheme of things, it's it's good to shake hands and move on. So yeah. No, we don't want beef to stop. <laughs> in in in, in, in Sakode's voice, don't try me. Don't try. Don't try me. <laughs> if anybody tries, you shoot it. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's proceed to talk about our sponsors, Echo Online. Yeah, as usual, we're talking about the whole Pan African spirit, trying to build the ecosystem for African artists and the whole entertainment playing field. There is this new app I wanted to, I always tell you guys about. It's not like a different I'm talking about Echo Online. Just jump on Echo Online and then you mix. Built by Africans for Africans. It has a website and an app. On that, a lot of features are under construction. The part of it is already live. Um, I usually encourage artists, it's simple, jump on Echo Online, create a profile, share on all your social media handles, get your fans to follow you on Echo Online. That way you are building a community. One, you could use this community as leverage to get endorsement deals. Um, Echo Online also has very good analytics, which you could directly assess your analytics by yourself and then see where your fan base are most engaged with you and things like that. Know where to plan your next concert, where to go and sell your merch, all of that decisions could be made off this analytics. Also, when you have this fan base, you release your merch and all of these things, you can directly get your money because one, the payment methods are adapted to African reality, unlike the other platforms where maybe they have to use credit cards. Most Africans don't have credit cards, they don't even have bank accounts on top of credit cards. But you use mobile money to support your artist, you can use mobile money to cash out your money. Also, the artists can directly withdraw their money using their phone, you invest in their career, upload new songs, and then push it out again, build new fan base, and just that, that organic growth, that's what we're trying to encourage here. I always tell people like the power is in your hands, it's almost like you're signing yourself to the level. Because the record is online, as much effort as you put in, that's as much reward you get back in return. It's not like the level is doing it for you and then they pay you a salary or anything. You actually invest in your own career and then get the results directly in your hand, just with your phone. You do all of these things. So I tell people, jump on Echo Online, then share your success story with us. When you upload the song Echo Online, just click the link shared on Chakara TV below any of our comments, and then we're going to pick it up on there and push it as hard as we can using the various means we have to push music. And um, as always, I tell people, it's a new product. Those who jump on it early enough are going to get like, the best out of it before it becomes too crowded and then you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning into this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. As usual, we want to know what you think in the comments below. Do you want the beef to stop? Or are you with the ambassador and that guy in the audience who says, Nah, hip hop? <laughs> nah, hip hop, bro. <laughs> Don't take it too Yeah, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Thumbs up to this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification button. Bye, guys.